Hi, welcome to Alaska. I'll show you my adventure. I'll be here for two weeks. Pack rafting around west part of uh, Prince William Sound. It's May 17th, but the snow is still on the ground. Some places a lot of snow. I got my camp set up about two miles away from here. I'm sort of my permanent camp and I'll be exploring the area around and I'll keep you informed on all interesting things that's going to happen. And I hope something will happen, something good. Looks like I got myself in a little situation here. I was uh, following this uh, inlet and then it got narrower and narrower and all of a sudden the water, the speed of the water picked up and it was just extremely fast and it, it carried me all the way here. It's like I couldn't stop, I couldn't reverse it because it was too powerful and my pack craft is right over there. You see, it's on the shore. So it's no way for me to get back now uh, unless I uh, just um, hike around somewhere with that, uh, do portage around uh, this area here. My original plan was to get right over there. You see there's a, like a lagoon and it's kind of far still away. It's, I, it's like a good one and a half miles all the way back and I, I think I'm gonna try to to just risk it let uh, the stream carry me all the way to that point and then I just paddle and then on the way back I'm just gonna portage my uh, my raft so you gotta take risks sometimes I mean it's gonna work out I know Okay, ready? Let's go. We're not going anywhere. Still on the ground. I'm too heavy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Ooh, yeah, how fast, how fast is that, huh? It's very fast. Oof. Yeah. That was just very easy part. The hard part is to get back up there. But as I said, I can, can always portage around. That's the only way. So let's explore the lagoon because it looks so pretty. It looks beautiful, majestic. That's the right definition. I just 
it got as far as it could. As you see, it's snow and ice. Yeah, the ice is melting. Look at the snow. Look at the look at the thickness of it. Wow. That uh, would be a nice place to store any meat or fish here. Like a natural refrigerator. Yeah, it's gorgeous. But that's as far as it can go. I just want to show you surrounding area. I'm going to take a break, have something to eat, and then uh, I'm going to get back. And that's how you get water. That's the only way. Um, the uh, snow melting from the top of the mountains, it all runs down here. There's no rivers or streams or any of that sort. So it's all melting snow. Check it out. So woke up this morning to a beautiful day sunshine around 50 degrees it's no wind whatsoever that's why it feels a lot uh, warmer than it really is because it's like i'm wearing a t-shirt it feels like a t-shirt weather but actually it's 50 degrees and um snow is rapidly melting it's still a lot of it in the forest and i want to explore the wooded area around there over there um <clears throat> about a mile away from me uh, there is a like a waterfall a larger one and um, it's a beautiful area but it's inaccessible because of a thick layer of snow well at least it was several days ago now there are spots are melting completely off and so you can pass so hopefully I'm gonna be there show you around there um, I've been exploring last couple of days going on my pack raft around this part um, um, by the shoreline i don't go that far yesterday got so rocky on my pack raft it was a roller coaster literally and um, very challenging to paddle against the wind but i got home in one piece so so far so good Yeah, that's the area I wanted you to see. Uh, I was here earlier this afternoon. I went all the way to the waterfall. <clears throat> There's a bear's cat in a few places. So black bears are here. They awake already after hibernation. So you gotta watch out. But it's beautiful here. It's around 11 p.m. now. 
it's kind of like it never gets dark completely so it's kind of like a um like a twilight permanent twilight so so i was saying that <clears throat> last year on kenai peninsula when i was hiking in the woods i got into a swamp she was pretty bad i got like i started sinking up to my knees very quick and then i had to grab a branch of a bush to pull myself out it was scary a few seconds but i was here <clears throat> earlier so and i don't think there's any swamp around still a lot of snow as i said You see the waterfall? Did you do you hear it? Yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> waterfall. Oh boy. Oh, it's that deep, huh? It's so very deep, that snow. <laughs> there you go again. Let's check it out. That's another waterfall right there. Uh, new camp, new place. I relocated around five miles away from my old one. I just want to show you around. Beautiful, really nice river right next to me. It's actually a creek, <clears throat> really fast. <clears throat> and then <clears throat> I'm gonna walk around the whole area so it's beautiful here let me go check it out really fast stream coming down the mountain Mm. 
when I landed here and I noticed something unusual <clears throat> and I see what's that it's like a two wheels in the water like a huge wheels big ones like kind of like not a car wheels or truck wheels it's from something else turns out <clears throat> the wheels are here you'll see it in a few and the machine is on the other side in the water in the river just half buried in mud and and river um, and it looks like uh, it's a gold mining equipment The sub, sub, somebody was mining gold. I don't know how many years ago, it might be 50 years ago or more or 70 years ago. I, I guess they were making these machines back then too. Yeah, you see this? Yeah, right over there. Yeah, it looks old. Firestone. Maybe it's not that old. It's old brand anyway. Firestone. That's a Ford wheel I found in a, the last one. Yeah. old broken tree and um, it's just something interesting you see in Alaska people were mining gold I guess it you know they lost a lot of money or maybe they abandoned that equipment when the gold was gone so it's a really nice area here look look over there beautiful just amazing view simply amazing A wolf just ran through my camp just like two minutes ago and I was sitting on that chair right over there and the wolf was running right from there right here behind that tree and he didn't see me and I when I saw him when he was so close he got too close to me before I actually noticed him I jumped up and I was just like oh what do I grab my uh, camera is in the tent my phone is charging um, uh, with the solar panels I have and like what do I do so I finally grabbed my phone and he took off really fast and I went after him running right over there and halfway I stopped and then I noticed he stopped and looked at me to see if I'm still chasing him and then he went over to the other side and stopped one more time to look at me if I'm still chasing him again and he disappeared well how cool is that how often do you see wolf that close very close like 20 yards unbelievable
I was trying to spot goats on those mountains. There are goats here, but I have so far haven't seen anything except that one wolf and bunch of seals and uh, bald eagles. That's about it. No other animals so far. But the wolf, it made my day. I was really happy. I don't know why. It's just a wolf. I guess it's just like a lone wolf, just like me in Alaska. <laughs> I'm gonna make a shortcut, go back to the camp. Right here, it's time to go home and cook some dinner. Nice waterfall. That's where I hear from my tent. Mosquitoes waking up too. I have one first bite on my back. Up until this point, I had no mosquito bites and there was no mosquitoes. It's warming up, snow is melting and um, trees are blooming, you know, some, some trees. So, what a beautiful place. I'm exploring this forest here. Yeah, that would be a major spot for blueberries in August. Right here, I see patches of blueberry around. It's not, of course, it's no berries yet. I don't know how far this path leads That's where the old blueberries are in late July and August. And that's where the bears are as well. There will be salmon in the stream, blueberries here, and the bears right next to it. You know, it's so quiet now. You didn't see no bears, scat or tracks here at all.
How cool is that, huh? Wow. Uh, I guess they were mining gold until they didn't. Let's take a closer look. Yep, that's what it looks like. Look at, look at that, what does it say? trying to see the day date of manufacture is it like oh 124 46 oh January 24 1946 So it has tracks, which means those wheels that I saw on the other side, it's right there. It's not from that machine, it's from something else. Well, it's very interesting. It's like a piece of history. What a beautiful day, like uh, hot, super hot. <laughs> no, it's not that hot. It's around 67 degrees, but on the trail, uh, it's no wind and it just really gets hot when you're moving, when you're moving around. So, and this weather is so gorgeous. It's no longer cold. 
it, the sun is blazing and the snow is rapidly melting and actually today is my um, last day here tomorrow morning I'm departing back to back to civilization and it looks like my trip coming to an end and I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again in Alaska